Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be the first final project for the Python 3 Crash Course 2020. And in this course, um, we are going to, um, of course, build a final project. Probably we will build more than one project, uh, simple projects, but just enough to let us uh, practice a bit more with what we learned during the course and uh, so I'm going to show you what we are going to build now uh, it's an application which takes um, the concept from one of the articles I wrote on my blog uh, a while ago uh, which was how to compress and merge PDF files using um, the Ghost script. Um, I'll leave you a link in the description of the video uh, to the blog post. And from there, we will still uh, a couple of um, a couple of commands that we will run uh, using our Python script to obtain something like that. So let me show you. So I'm, I'm inside Visual Studio Code and this is the uh, where we left off uh, last time. So this is the project folder where we have built all the um, all the different lessons for the Python Crash Course. Uh, so in here we will have a new folder for the final project. But in the meantime, let me show you how it how this is going to work. So I've uh, already done this application and uh, the way we'll, um, we will start it will be simply by calling it uh, from anywhere uh, inside our system and that's going to be named uh, pdf so like so you are going to run the application uh, so you will be prompt uh, with this option you can choose from uh, convert images in pdf files merge pdf files compress a pdf file so a single pdf file or compress a whole folder of pdf files uh, so you are, we are going to type for instance one and we will be asked for the path where we have this image. So if we create a folder here in the main project folder. So create a new folder and I'm going to call it PD, PDF till and in here I'm going to create a new folder for the images and inside this folder I uh, shall put a picture uh, let me see if I have one that I can use and so inside this folder I've put a picture of me doing backflip on my BMX uh, a while ago actually ages ago uh, so this is going to be uh, converted in a PDF file uh, using our script. So the um, script that we are running is inside uh, our main folder. So inside this folder, so PDF util and slash images. So I'm going to type PDF util slash forward slash images. And that's going to be the part of where my image is. And it says uh, that the image is 612 by 612 pixel. Uh, and I don't want to resize it, so it's fine like that. So I'm going to press no. And the image has been converted in a PDF file. Let's see it. Let me open this PDF file and you will see that we have a PDF file with the picture 
that we just converted. So that's one of the option uh, of our script. And that's going to be the first thing that we would build. So let me close this, uh, which we don't need. And then after we converted, the um, program asks us again uh, what kind of operation we want to do. Uh, so we can choose from two, three, and four, and we could merge uh, more than one PDF file into one. So for instance, if we copy this one, and now we say that we want to merge this um, so we want to select the option two and merge the pdf files and it still asks me again for the path so let put this path again these files are going to be located in the same folder so since we converted and then we copied and we press enter and then we are as we can see we have two pdf files and then the program asks us to choose the file uh, that we want to use for the final um, for the final file that we have made so we want to call it like merge yes pdf and it's going to run the script and it's going to merge the images so as you see here we have uh, a new pdf file and this pdf file is going to uh, contain uh, these two pdfs that we selected so let's check that let me open it and as you see there should be two oh it doesn't work Well, that's nice. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? So we'll run the following script and it shouldn't be here. Undefined. Why that? Yeah, sure, we have this too, but the path is wrong and there is a space here that shouldn't be here. So let's, that's going to be probably one of the additional features that we can do. So make sure that the files that we are fetching uh, have no space in the middle. So let's see, uh, so we said merge and the files are still located in this folder. So let me copy that and that should work. Nope. Final found. What the fuck is going on? Um, let's try again and it's not clear why it's not working. So let's merge PDF files. The part where these files are located is this one. Uh, so this is going to ask me now uh, the name of the file. And I'm going to type merge.pdf. And if it's not going to work again, probably there is an error in the a bug in the code. And no, nope. okay, that's going to work now. It's working. So it's working now, and it's working because the file that we passed, and there is an empty page at the at the end. So these are all little bits and bobs that we can fix later on. So we merged two files, but we have got exactly three pages instead of two. Uh, that's going to be probably one of the um, things that we want to fix later. So let's close this file now and let's 
get started and let's quit so if you press q it's going to quit the program and say goodbye and so so it's working that's fine and inside this folder now we are going to create a new file i'm going to call it app.pi and in here let's close this stuff that we don't need and let's close the sidebar so from here now let's first uh what is name pdf okay let's cd into our folder let's list the files okay we have uh, one file so app.pi and the images folder where we have a bunch of uh, one image and a bunch of pdf files that we just created using this uh, script and now let's write it from the ground up and apply what we have learned during the crash course so the first thing that we want to do is to of course write the shebang okay we are going to use python 3 and from now uh, we are going to need a few tools to be able to build this project so the first tool is going to be uh, the python image library so peel then we will need sub process and we will need the os module and also we will need probably the sys module and we will need to grab from the from the article that I mentioned earlier uh, a couple of scripts so let's check it out so um, let's search for PDF and that's the article if i'm not wrong so yes that's it so that's the article i wrote um, to remember myself how to uh, do this um, kind of task because i often need to merge and compress pdf files and uh, i like to work using the terminal so i looked around and i found uh, this way to compress a PDF file and this way to merge a PDF file if you want to read um, the article feel free to do it uh, it's on my blog I will leave the link in the description and also there is another uh, bit on this article where we can learn how to password protect our PDF file but for the scope of this tutorial we don't need it so what we are going to um, take from this blog post is these lines of code uh, so that's the one that we will use to compress the pdf file so when we will reach the, um, the part where we have to compress it and this line of code where uh, when we need to uh, work on the future that we comp well, we, that will merge our uh, PDF files into one. So let's keep it on the side for now. So um, let's write ghost script code. Uh, so we need these four, these five um, things to use so the first thing that we will need is actually pillow uh, the pattern image library and you can find it on the uh, python module indexing where is it so let's search for it pillow so that's the official documentation page which doesn't exist 
Uh, it seems I made a mistake. So pillow. Okay, that's it. So here we have the documentation and you can click the installation uh, and follow the instruction to install it. Uh, but you can simply run pip3 install pillow or follow these uh, instructions and make sure if you have the old uh, version of uh, pill to remove it before install um, before install pillow because the old um, repository um, was abandoned and this is a fork uh, and it's called pillow but when we will use it it's going to be named always pill so um, you just need to make sure that you delete the old uh, Python module uh, before installing. You just follow, you need just to follow these instructions and then you can run uh, pip3 install below and that should start And that should start yeah collecting pillow okay that's that's going to install the um, module for you and I'm not doing that because I already have it and uh, to make sure you have it you just type Python 3 and uh, you start the interpreter and then you can type uh, for, for instance, for um, peel import image, and if you uh, see an empty line after the import statement, it means that pillow is installed correctly and you can use it. So let's uh, exit. Let's clear the screen. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is to um, make that loop that we uh, saw previously. So when you run it, so when you run the program, you have over and over this uh, set of options that uh, you can choose from. Uh, and then they will start, of course, the appropriate function uh, that will be used to do the uh, exact thing that you expect. So compress, merge, compress all PDF files, convert them, uh, convert images in PDF files and so on. So let's first uh, write a function and in here well, what I want to do is to um, initialize an empty sorry initialize a, a variable that represents the state of the application so is it running yes so i assign to this variable the boolean value true to um, um, represent the running state of the application and then we will start a while loop and what, what this loop is going to do is to run and output these four options uh, until uh, we change the value of the running variable. So uh, we just do running and then, um, and then that's it. Now, now okay so if it's running we want to print a message if it's not uh, we want to quit so let's first write the message that we have uh, here so these four options and for that i'm going to use a print statement print function print function and i use the triple quotes so that I can span on multiple lines and now I'm gonna say options and on a new line 
I will say one convert images in PDF files and then we have option two and it's merge PDF files then we have option three and we say compress a PDF file and option four for decompress all PDF files so this is going to compress all PDF files in the folder and help us to save some space now what we want to do is to listen for the user input so we want to um, create a new variable options and this is going to be equal to the um, um, to what the user uh, insert in the prompt when we uh, use the input function we as we know we see a prompt like this one and the terminal waits for our input so here we will type exactly one option and then we say one two three and type q to exit okay so this is going uh, to print a message for us and um, after this message is going to print this line where the uh, prompt waits for us to tell him what to do so the first thing that we will implement is this queue to exit so let's check if the option options um, so it's going to be option not options so the option that the user select is going to be lowercase so we use the lowercase to uh, for instance maybe the user types uh, q uh, as a capital letter so we want to convert it in lowercase so if it's equal to a q it means that we want to uh, say to the user goodbye print nope print message goodbye and then we change the value of the function because we want to stop the loop from executing so we want to change these variable to false and that's it and then we want to exit okay um, that's it pretty much does the job that should do it let's run it and see what happens so let's let's call the function like so and let's run it so let's exit this one so let's run the app.pi so i'm using uh, windows subsystem linux and inside this folder i don't have to change the file permission uh, to be the file mode and um, put the execute here so the x but in case it, this doesn't work you need to type ch mode and say you plus x so the user uh, you want to give to the user group a an execution permission and then the name of the file and that's going to uh, make the file executable and now you can run it like i did here so as you see uh, the uh, the first part works exactly how we expected and we got these four options and if we press q 
we exit the program and we see a goodbye message if we uh, type one it's going to always ask us um, to present to us the same messages because we have not implemented what to do in case we press a different letter so if the user press a letter that doesn't exist uh, we will be presented again with the same uh, input the, the same messages so this screen where we select the options for our program and now what we want to do so let's exit so we said that so let's first create the structure of our um, program so we said that we want to convert the images uh, we want to convert the images so and that's going to be the option one so um, let's create everything in, inside the same file so we want to define a function and uh, we call it convert image to pdf pass okay so that's going to be option one and let's say Okay, so that's going to be the first option and then we have the second option that merge PDF files then we have the third option let's copy that so we don't have to type okay and then the forward that's going to be the compress all files Let's remember to put the comment so okay that's going to be our plan so we want to write four functions so let's create the second function uh, we could call it of course merge pdf files and pass and the third is going to be compress pdf file and the final function is going to be compress all For now, we don't uh, we don't need any parameter, and that's going to be pretty much the structure of our of our file. And uh, now, uh, as I said before, we will need to uh, use some uh, certain modules. So the, the first one is the Pilo Python Image Library, and uh, we are going to need from pillow the image sub module so we import it like so that's going to be uh, the module that will help us to uh, manipulate the image and convert it in a in a pdf file so now let's import also the other module so we um, do all the imports so as I said to run the ghost script we will have to call it from our Python script and as you know uh, we can use the sub process module to run bash commands um, then let's import ls and sys okay now what we should do is to start working on this function so that's going to be the first function that we will um, create 
and it's going to be I think quite simple um, so we need to convert an image in a PDF file so we need the path of the image or the images so the path is going to be this one and it's going to be a string now mm, let's write what this does converts an image in a pdf file and then we have a string image path which is the path to the image to convert okay so now we should first so we need to convert an image and we have to put the image so first we need to open the image and to do that we will use the width syntax so width and in this case to open the image we will use the image python sub module and then we use the open method and now the uh, module wants uh, this method wants the image path so fp is the file path and that's going to be image path and it's, we are going to name it the em which stands for image and then in here we need to do a bit of work uh, so why uh, so the image so let's first print the object so if we print the image object that we receive when we call this function and we pass to it a path to an image which is this one so we can say image images back flip dot jpeg so we call this function then we can exit okay now let's run this file again and we should see okay we we got some information about the image that we got so um, we got of course the mode the size where it's located with what it is and what kind of image it is so it's a jpeg image um, but if we print the image part together with the image object we see that we got this file here so images slash backflip dot jpeg now uh, we want to um, rename this and transform this image in a pdf file so what we are going to do is to split the text uh, from the extension so we got this in a separate um, element and this in a separate element and to do that we can use let's see our as part split split text so we should be able to use the as part split text method and let's run again and so yes we got the text um, so the full part that we um, the part that we wrote inside this function uh, it's split so it's separated from the file extension so we have the file extension and the part as a tuple so we could do um, file and extension 
it's going to be equal the result of this method and if we print the file and we print the extension now we should get what we expect so we should get two separate elements so the images forward slash backflip and the dot dot and the dot jpeg um, which is the e so it stands for extension and f for the file so now um, we want to transform what we got from here to a pdf file so we could just do that new file name file name and we open the string and we use format and in here we use the file because what we want to do is file dot pdf so in this way we will extract from here the file and then the extension will be replaced uh, with this dot pdf so this is going to be transformed in a pdf file and now we also need to make sure the image is uh, in rgb so we could do um, image convert RJ, rgb and then we could save this image could save the image and the save method wants of course a file path and let's split it in a new line so this wants a file path and we should put this file name so like that we should see um, We should save and convert the image so let's remove the files the pdf files that we made before okay uh, so like that when we call this function the function opens the image extract the file name and the extension of the file and then it renames the file uh, it converts the original image in RGB before saving it with the new file name which is the one that we just wrote here and, and that's it let's try to call it see what happens okay and we got a PDF file successfully created so reveal in file explorer and let's open the pdf file and see if we have the image inside our pdf and yes okay we have successfully converted the image in a pdf file and uh, so we have successfully completed the first option of our program so what we could do now to see this in action is to simply call it from the main and let's remove that from here we could call it from the main function when the user types one so let's add here a new if block if option lower is going to be um going to be two we want to call this function okay let's see if we if it works that should work of course so let's call the application and then let's see type one type one not two so 
let's create let's call the application again type one and indeed we got this file successfully converted okay so that's it for this um, for the first part uh, in the next video i'll show you how to uh, we will move forward and uh, work on the other options for our um, small application but before moving forward uh, we will write some tests so i'll see you in the next video cheers